Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Let's discuss with author L.A. Logan. On today, we're going to talk about, I don't know, whatever comes to my mind, that's what we're going to talk about. I'm asking you to give me a girl a break. I mean, I am just fresh off of a vacation where I was doing a lot of birthday fun. And as you can tell by my background, I'm in a whole new location. So yeah, I may have a few things to talk about. Nothing specific, but just a few things to discuss. Are you ready to get into it? Let's discuss. So if you watched my last video, then you know that I celebrated my birthday this past weekend. And I also celebrated a really dear friend of mine's birthday whose kids gave her a surprise 50th birthday party. And man, was it fun. And then I enjoyed birthday fun of my own because my birthday was on February 16th. So yeah, I'm a little tired. Um, I had some um, an early morning flight on Monday after my birthday, a 5.45 a.m. flight, and the airport was an hour and 20 minutes away from where I was staying. And it was an early morning. Actually, I didn't even go to sleep now that I think about it. No, nope, I didn't go to sleep. I just stayed up and drove to the airport. So yeah, a sister was tired. Have you ever done that? Like, I think that's probably my third time doing that. I did it when we went to the Bahamas. Um, I didn't go to sleep the night before. I just went ahead and stayed up because I had an early morning flight. And I used to think that people that slept in airports, that something was seriously wrong with them. Um, but now that I've experienced that, I totally, totally get it. Um, so yeah, it was a long day on Monday. As a matter of fact, by the time I got home, it was probably about 1.30 or so in the afternoon. And um, I remember I ate a salad from Chick-fil-A and then I was knocked out. I didn't, I went to sleep. I called myself just gonna take like a power nap. When I woke up again, it was 7.30 p.m. And I was up for a few hours and then I went right back to sleep. Probably about 10.30, I was asleep again. And then I slept all night until mm, probably about 6 a.m. the next morning, which is sleeping in for me. So yeah, I'm still trying to recover from that. And then as you can see from my background, I am on location again. Today I am in Jonesboro, Arkansas for a work, um, it's a work trip. Um, I did get to go watch the Red Wolves play basketball game against University of Monroe, Louisiana. I think that's what it was called. Um, you know, and, and the Red Wolves lost, unfortunately. So um, I actually am supposed to still be participating in some activities that are going on. But rather than doing that, I decided to come up and spend time with you to see what you have going on. How was your day? Um, how was your weekend? How has your week been so far? Um, yeah, so I just wanted to jump on and I really didn't have a subject matter per se. I just knew that I hadn't had any discussions with you since, uh, when did we last talk on my birthday? On Sunday. And so I thought, you know what? I need to hop on, do a quick video, let everybody know um, what I'm up to, what I have going on, which is nothing. Your girl is tired. Now, one thing about turning a year older, and I really don't know <laughs> how this happened, but I literally, like literally, my knees feel like in a matter of 24 hours, they aged like 10 years. Like, I don't, I don't get it with aging like what is it about aging that your body will remind you of how old you are like your mind might tell you oh you still got it you can still do it you can stay up all night um you know whatever but your body your body will tell you in a minute uh no this is not what we do and uh this is not what we gonna start doing um we are a year older and if i have to make you feel 10 years older to get you to sit down then that's what i'm gonna do so yeah, uh, my body definitely is reminding me that I turned another year old older. And 
I don't quite uh, move around like I used to. There's probably some other reasons for that. Hence, a goal I set for 2020. Hence, have I been to the gym yet? Mm. Hence, have I put, well, yeah, I have pushed back the plate. I have changed the, some of my eating habits. I have done that. But could I be doing more? Absolutely. Have I been doing more? Absolutely not. When you have a crazy schedule, you can have all the right intentions of exercising, um, trying out a new diet, um, just all these different things, getting in more steps. But when your schedule is crazy, man, it's so easy to lose track of that or, or just to say forget it altogether. So yeah, now that I've turned a year older, I've really, really, really got to get myself back in line and back in shape and exercising and gosh I'm just thinking about some of the stuff I gotta let go like horrible gummy bears are like my weakness lemon cake pastries my weakness like a good glazed donut there's this place down here or not down here but um in Little Rock that's called Mark's Donuts oh my gosh if you eat their donuts you will not want any other donut like they have the best donuts, but I don't eat there all the time. I don't know. I guess maybe when you you get older, it doesn't really matter how you change your eating habits. Your metabolism is just slow and you've got to do something to kickstart it. Like I, I promise my metabolism probably is acting like it's 150 years old, honestly, because I really don't eat a lot of bad food. Um, so I don't think it's what I eat. I just think maybe it's when I eat that might be the issue. But anyway, I digress. I digress because I can go on and on about weight and... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm back. I went back there again. Anywho, so yeah, um, your girl's just trying to get back into the groove of things. I'm a little tired still. Um... I had so much fun on my birthday um, seeing just different family and friends and I did there's a lot of people I did not get to see which I really hate that I didn't um, but yeah I'm looking forward to going back home so yeah this week what do I got going on this week I do have some topics that I want to talk about gosh I, I gained a lot of topics per se with my visit and then also if you have a topic that you want me to talk about Leave me a comment below. You know, if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. Um, thank you for stopping in. Usually I have something specific to talk about, but on today, I'm just doing good to do a video. Like, I gave up fun for you all. Does that count for something? Just a little bit? Just a poquito, maybe? But yeah, if this is your first time, welcome to my channel. Thank you for checking me out. Um... I would love for you to participate in my discussions. Please leave a comment below, or if you have a discussion topic that you would like me to talk about, leave that below. Um, like, click the like button if you like what I'm talking about on today, or if you can relate to anything that I've talked about on this evening. Hit the subscribe button um, so that you um, will be notified anytime a video is uploaded. And if you click the bell, I believe the bell notifies you immediately when a video is uploaded. So yeah, um, I'm still pushing towards my goal for at least 50 subscribers. So tell people that you know about the channel. Um, again, we survived the weekend. We survived sad day, otherwise known as Valentine's Day. We survived my birthday weekend. We survived my friend's surprise 50th birthday party where I was teasing her. I told her that she was going to need four things um the following day which consisted of epsom salt bengay a heating pad and some ibuprofen because yeah our body has a way of reminding us of just how young we are not anymore <laughs> but anyway guys i'm gonna get out of here i'm tired and i think i'm being a little goofy and a little silly and i may just be rambling at this point um, i was trying to think if there's anything in the news worthy of me talking about so you won't you know give me a hard time saying we didn't discuss anything well yeah we kind of did we discussed goals weight loss being tired uh multitasking i'm multitasking right now um what else 
Oh, well, I can't remember. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the discussion. If not, oh, well, maybe next time. But I do want to leave you with this. The plans for your life have already been designed. It's just up to you to trust the planner. Have a good one, everybody.